A bullet of mass 0.1 kg moving horizontally with a speed of 400 meter per second hits a wooden block 3.9 kg kept on a horizontal rough surface. The bullet gets embedded, moves 20 cm before coming to rest. Coefficient of friction between block and the surfaces. Okay, so we have a bullet, right? What's the mass of it? The mass of this is 0.1 kg. It's moving horizontally with a speed of 400 meter per second. Gets embedded into 3.9 kg. It moves 20 meters, right? Okay, so it moves 20 meter before coming to rest. See, we we'll visualize first. That is this process, but not completely. We need this one also. And let's choose the frame of reference to be inertial frame. So we will visualize thing from this point over here. Okay, outside the frame. Isolate the body. We will isolate this body, and then. Sigma of x and sigma of y. Let me just remove this portion from here. Okay. Now let's try to understand what's happening using the diagram here. See the diagram, I've taken two sets of diagram, okay? So the first set would be like this. Okay. And what's happening in step one? Step one, point one kilogram bullet with 400 meter per second is embedding into 3.9 and here I will consider the system to be I'll consider the system to be bullet and the block so what is the system here the bullet and the block so this dotted line represents the system <coughs> so what we have here is the initial condition. What is initial condition? By initial, I mean before what? Exactly, before before collision. And by final condition, I mean after after collision, right? And between this initial and final conditions, that is between before and after collision conditions, we know that the net external force acting on it is, is zero. And if net external force is acting on it is zero, then we know that by force impulse momentum theorem that the change in momentum will be equal to zero or in other words, we can say that the initial momentum will be equal to the final momentum. The initial momentum refers to the before collision and final momentum refers to after collision. In initial momentum, which is before collision, we know that there are two components. Therefore, the, comp the equation will have two components. The will have two components. One is the bullet whose... Okay, maybe I can write it down one more time. So we can say mass of the bullet into velocity of the bullet, right? Plus, plus mass of the block into the velocity of the block. Now it is given that wooden block of mass is kept on a horizontal surface. So it we, we assume that the velocity is equal to zero for the block. And mass of bullet is 0.1 gram. Velocity of bullet is 400 meter per second. Therefore, what we get is velocity final velocity final is actually 0.1 into 400 the whole upon 3.9 plus 0.1 is 4 right 400 into 0.1 is 40 by 4 therefore v4 is equal to 10 meter per second right okay now that we have this value of final velocity to be 10 meter per second what can we do next now what we can do is we'll move to the second part of the problem right what is the second part of the problem after this collision after this collision the bullet gets embedded yes the bullet gets embedded and then it moves 20 meter so after this collision the bullet is moving 20 meter and finally it comes to rest therefore the velocity here is actually equal to rest right and what is the velo or what is the initial velocity here so if you come let us say from this for the, for the motion along for the motion along ab if you write this for the motion along ab for the motion along ab what is the initial velocity the initial velocity is by is the velocity by which 
the ob- the system was moving after collision after collision what is the final velocity the final velocity is equal to 10 meter per second therefore initial velocity here is the final velocity earlier which is 10 meter per second and what is the final velocity here the final velocity here is the object is coming to rest therefore the final velocity is equal to zero and if we use the velocity displacement relationship what we get what we get is v square is equal to u square plus 2 as and v is equal to zero so zero is what is u square u square now here would be equal to 10 square plus 2 as and therefore we have zero is equal to zero is equal to 100 plus 2 into a is 20 so we get as 12 sorry 20 into 2 is wait yeah 20 into 2 is 40 a right so what we get as a is equal to minus 100 by 4 or just otherwise equal to minus 25 meter per second square wait am i making a mistake oh yes 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 there's a zero here's 40 right so it's 10 by 4 and gives us answer to be minus 2.5 meter per second square which is option okay the options are not clear is option d here so the retardation here is actually equal to minus point sorry minus 2.5 meter per second square